Uh, John Bell vetoes the bill on the St. George question, which was a very technical bill. Basically what it said was that if in October the St. George thing passes, um, the bill in, it was an enabling legislation that would allow the new city to collect the two cent local sales tax. Um, so, and it passed pretty overwhelmingly without a lot of uh, opposition, other than Karen Carter Peterson flipping her wig and, you know, playing every race card in the deck. I mean, you know, went crazy. And John Bell vetoes the bill because Sharon West and Broom asked him to. So, what happens until somebody comes along and fixes it? is if you live in St. George, you get two cents off your sales tax. There's nobody to collect it, so you don't got to pay. So, like, it's a totally dysfunctional and stupid thing for him to have done. And what he's done is, depending on how much of this gets out, all the St. George people, you probably going to get too many of them anyway, uh, but he's definitely not going to get any of them now. And you're probably going to see suburban voters from all over the state who have been paying attention to St. George because the issues that are driving the St. George movement are similar issues that people, where people are having everywhere. I mean, the Metairie people all know about this because they see dysfunctional government in Orleans Parish just like South Bethany people see in oh, And people in Ascension and Livingston see, and they're like, that's why I moved out of there. People in Bossier feel the same way about Shreveport, and I mean, on and on and on. Everybody's actually paying attention. I've gotten more questions about that in the last couple weeks from people not from Baton Rouge than I ever would have thought. So, and remember, John Bell got 51% of the vote in Jefferson Parish against David Bitter in November 15. He got 52% of the vote in, in Ascension. So for him to veto this, he's kicking out a lot of voters that he has to have in an effort to maintain his base because he didn't want to piss off Sharon Weston Broom when he needs her to turn vote out. So, I mean, he's beginning to get in that either or situation on some of these things. And the St. George thing, I think, probably plays into that much more here than maybe around the state, but in a, with a lot of suburban voters, I think they will keep that in mind. So I think it might be a thing.